stand up and shout, fight for cancer. Now, typically this is also the ride for Ronnie, but this year they are not going to do the motorcycle ride. It's just going to be everybody coming here to the park in Encino, California. And uh, we're going to have a lot of bands out here today. And there are going to be a lot of rock and roll celebrities all here for a cause to stand up and shout and fight against cancer. All the money that's raised today will go to cancer research. Uh, we're going to see if we can talk to Wendy Dio, Ronnie's uh, widow, and uh, find out more about this great cause that they have going on here because it is a great cause. And uh, as you can see, it's just beginning right now, but the, by the end of the day, this place will be full and there'll be a lot of uh, people here to help because I think everybody's been touched and affected by cancer. So uh, come along. Wendy Dio saying hello to you all. Hi. We saw the uh, documentary. Oh, great. Did you like it? It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm glad you liked it. It was a very bittersweet journey. But it was, it was great, yep. I mean, I've seen a lot of rock documentaries, but this one was, like, next level. I wanted the, the fans, the real die-hard fans, to have something in there that they didn't know about Ronnie. And I think we did that with the accident and with the, you know, the doo-wop stuff and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I was very happy with the directors. Barry did a great job. And I love that they did the, the stories of the fans, like, yeah. oh, I sat in the change radio stations and then, you know, Man on the Silver Mountain came on, you yeah, know, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then you, like, hit that music yeah. and it's like, oh, very yeah, powerful. It's great, yeah. Really because great. this music was so powerful. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. We're keeping his memory and his, his memory and his legend alive, and that's what I want to do. And I love you incorporated places in, in Hollywood like, like the, the rainbow and everything else. Yep. Well, as much money as we can raise to educate people and put research to get rid of this horrible disease of cancer that takes somebody, they don't care, rich, poor, what you are, they're going to get you. Actually, I have a, a, a picture that I took with Ronnie. And uh, there, there's Ronnie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just lost my wife this past year oh. to breast cancer. Wow. This beautiful lady, that's yeah. me. Yeah. And we were with some friends from Italy, and then, of that's course... Rock, the rock, yeah. 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 So, uh, I rock, yeah. So, I'm here for a, a couple of reasons, to obviously nice support Ronnie and to support you know, your, your fight for cancer, because I think people. you're doing a, a wonderful thing, Wendy. Well, thank you. We're thank thank you for your support. Really appreciate it. Thank you. You have a good day. So, when I met Ronnie James Dio, my wife had some friends that were visiting from out of town. And they were from Italy, so we decided to take them to an Italian restaurant. And the place that we could only think of was uh, to go down the street here in Encino to a place called Buca di Beppo. So we go there, and we're ordering our food, and the waiter after he takes our order, goes to the next table and goes, I've always been a fan, can I get an autograph? And so I like, kind of like, was wondering, okay, well who's sitting at the table next to me? And uh, here I look over and I see that I'm sitting at the table next to Ronnie James Dio. And uh, so, I ended up starting a conversation with Ronnie and uh, ended up getting a picture with uh, him and uh, his cousin who was the guitar player for Elf and uh, my wife and my two friends, uh, which is the picture that we'll show here in a, in a second. And the thing that I remember the most was after we took the photo, I looked Ronnie in the eye and I said, this song, uh, Heaven and Hell, is also an album by Black Sabbath. I said that when I was a young kid that this album really changed my life. I uh, listened to it quite intently and I found it to be very spiritual yet uh, rocking. And I really appreciate 
what he did with this album. And Ronnie looked me right in the eye and he said that really meant a lot to him, what I said. That I appreciated the Heaven and Hell album. So if you guys haven't listened to the whole album through from the beginning to the very end, you should check out Black Sabbath's Heaven and Hell. It is quite an amazing album. I'm here with Jason Charles Miller. And Jason just got off a of stage and uh, how'd it go? It went great, man. Uh, playing at 11.45 in the morning is always a challenge, but uh, because you can't see any of your gear, like is, is my tuner working? I don't know, I gotta block it with my foot so I can see if the light comes on. But if you hear it, then it, you know, it's working. I know, I go to some of these events, you know, where they're early morning uh, rock and roll shows, and it's like, we're not used to being up at this hour of the day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you got, how'd you get uh, um, hooked up with, uh, with Ronnie? Yeah, I've been a fan of Ronnie my, my whole career. Uh, when I was in the band Godhead, we played uh, at a festival in uh, Boston with the Heaven and Hell lineup okay. in, uh, I think, 2008. And um, ever since then, uh, I've always wanted to play, you know, and when they started putting this together and the Cancer Benefit, I always wanted to play it. So uh, I just kept talking to the right people and got Anything on Anything else you want to say to your fans? Uh, hi, I see you out on the road this summer. We're going out with Faster Pussycat this summer. So that's going to be a lot of fun, coast to coast. And your uh, website? JasonCharlesMiller.com. There you go. Thank All you, right. buddy. Thanks a lot, Greg. Thanks. Have a Santa Hilda's. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, so we just want to say um, a couple of things here. Um, on the back of the uh, um, arena there, you'll see the silent auction items, the raffle items. We're going to do some live auction items just after 3 o'clock. So check how much money you've got in your pocket. We take credit cards, we do all that. And um, bid high, bid often. Uh, when I start, uh, we've got about fun of five or six great uh, packages to uh, live auction at that time. So, we are going to um, do something very special right now. Wendy, do you want to say? Yes, Bill McBride has been one of our biggest, biggest donators. He's donated so much money, thousands of dollars to, this, to our cause. So we'd like to give him an... Oh, where is it? Oh. <laughs> Bill, we want to present this to you. This is the King of Rock and Roll Award presented to you, Rock for Ronnie 2023, for being such a great supporter of the Cancer Fund and donating huge amounts of money and just being an absolute star. That I can wait to play. It's gonna be fun. Oh, you're with? Uh... I'm playing with the All Star Champs. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so. Because I was wondering, it didn't. It, it said who was who was on the uh, the meet and greet, but you're also all playing together. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm uh, Bullet Boys drummer. Oh, okay. Excellent, excellent. So you guys were just uh, performing, uh, touring, right? Yes. We've been, we we have a new song that is, is gonna come out 
and we have a lot of shows late this year also. We're doing a bunch of festivals. Excellent. I, I, I've been following Ira and he's all over with you guys and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing it. It's a great team. Yeah. You know, Ira, Mark and I, we're writing most of the stuff. It's fun. It's fun. It's really fun. Fun, fun. I, I scratched my Bullet Boys album back in the day, man. I, it has a big like groove in it because I got drunk and I loved your song so much. The, Alright, appreciate it. How's it going, bro? Good, good. You're with Bullet Boys too? Yes, I am. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> excellent, Sometimes excellent. Today, yes. He's the guy. Yes. Yeah, we're going to do it this way, guys. Yeah, this way. Okay. Alright. And, uh, yeah, well, we're trying to do something for any donations. are welcome. We have a box up front. you guys want to bring them my way? No, we're going to go this way. Oh, this way, this way. Okay, let's put them over there then. She's awesome. By the way, so your energy is so rad. That whole part looks good for me. Yes. <laughs> it's good to have an organizer in the group. And you are? I'm Andre. You're a singer? Or? Yes, I'm a singer. I'm a singer, yeah. Ask me more. Uh, <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> uh, I'm from The Voice of Greece, viral from The Voice of Greece, and I play with Tim Ripper Owens also as a duet. We play together in a band named Pyramid. And I'm going solo career as Andre, uh, which uh, there are many players like Billy Sheehan and Russell Gilbrook from Uri Hip and Jay Raston, the amazing sound engineer, mixed it, and I'm so happy to release it before October. Uh, how do you like uh, America? I love it. I want to stay here. I'm, I'm trying actually. I want to stay here forever. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Because uh, this is where it's at. <laughs> yes, I just find me a way to stay. I love it. I want it. <laughs> okay, well, you hear it, guys. Uh, find a way for her to stay. Yes, please. Please do it. I want to stay here. <laughs> and your social media? Yes, I do. It's Andre Blues Metal Queen on Instagram. You can find me or as Andre Layou, L-A-G-I-O-U. Like it's a little bit, you know, I should change my legal name. It's Greek. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, we have Neil here from Anthrax and other bands. And, uh... Okay, so we have Neil here, and you're with Anthrax. And no, I'm not with Anthrax. Uh, I play with Anthrax. I wrote the first album, first tour. They used my songs afterwards. But I have my own band, Death Riders, and Neil Turbin, East Los. And um, I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm also a um, known as a thrash metal singer, and and uh, I'm here at the you know rock, rock for Ronnie, and I'm going to be singing a song. And also, I work with a metal voice, so I do interviews as well. Excellent. And uh, how did you get uh, hooked up with the with the Ronnie James Dio uh, group? Well, I've been a fan of Ronnie Ronnie and Black Sabbath and Rainbow since you know I was this big, and um, you know I've. Uh, I I followed Ronnie's career, and of course, you know, I was um, fortunate enough to be included in the All Star Jam today. So I sang here in 2019 at Ride for Ronnie, and I've also co covered Ronnie's uh, covered the events um, such as Bowl for Ronnie. So and also the the gala, the Dio gala that happened. So I've been you know close to the the Ronnie James Dio family for a while, and um, you know one of my favorite artists I mean greatest heavy metal singer of all time so you know you gotta appreciate Ronnie Dio I mean just ask Jack Black he'll, he'll tell you that gala that was amazing with the hologram um, well I would I would rather have Ronnie but you know I thought I thought it was amazing when Ronnie was singing but I mean it was great to see Dio disciples see Ripper and Oni in the band and um, you know personally you know I think you know getting to see the live version. You know, I've seen Dio. I saw, I saw Ronnie sing in 1980, Heaven and Hell, uh, actually Black and Blue and Blue, Blue Oyster Cult and Black Sabbath at Nassau Coliseum in 1980, and uh, that was an amazing experience to, to see Ronnie. And when I was like 12 years old, I remember hearing it, his his music come over like the the loudspeaker at the rec room, 
at my family's, um, you know, where they lived, and I was at, I was in front of a pool table and hearing Ronnie James Dio sing "Man on the Silver Mountain" or something when I was 12 or, or some something like that. So it was just like mind-altering experience, you know, mind-bending. So what's going on? All good, man. All good. Uh, I'm uh, Fred Aiking. I'm a drummer. I play with the Bullet Boys. I play with Kings of Thrash with uh, David Ellison, and I have a band called Dead Groove. It's a rock and roll power trio. Our record came out uh, a month ago, so we're we're going at it right now. I mean, yeah, you got to play with like multiple bands because you know um, when one takes a, some time off, then you can like right? just keep keep, keep it going. You know? Yeah, you got to keep yourself busy at least working and touring the whole year. You got to have at least you know some clients. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. And so the the record came out uh, when? The record came out on March 30th under the label Rock Avenue Records USA. And it's 10 songs, it's all rock and roll, like kind of like Sabbathy, Deep Purple, it's female bass player singer. So definitely check it out. Excellent, we will. And uh, so um, you're going to be doing some live shows then too? Yes, we're gonna, we, we already did some, some shows, but uh, now we're going to go ahead and, and record some stuff with Bullet Boys. So there's a bunch of things going on at the same time, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to go out and start playing and touring and everything. I mean, yeah, like I said earlier, you know, the Bullet Boys have been uh, on the road and uh, going all over the place. So you're getting a lot of road time this year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Things are going very well. But yeah, man, check it out, Dead Groove. It's a great band, rock and roll. So you want to see us out there pretty soon. Look for them. All right, guys. Great. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Hey, guys, I'm here with Mark. And uh, Mark, tell us about yourself. I'm Mark Ferrari, formerly of the band Keel, Cole Sweat, and Wayne's World. Okay. And uh, so what's going on? Well, I'm uh, very proud to be part of the uh, Dio uh, Cancer Foundation event here. I got to tour with Ronnie twice back in the 80s and early 90s, and he was, uh, he was a mentor to me. So I'm, I'm just very uh, excited and proud to be part of this event today. Absolutely. And Ferrari, that means you're an Italian? I have Italian blood in me, yes. Because well, uh, Ronnie is obviously Italian too. That's right. So, uh, um, you know, Ronnie was so loved among, among the fans, and to go out and go on the road with them, it, it must have been such a uh, an amazing, um, eye-opening event. Yeah, he was uh, he was a mentor to all of us, you know, and uh, he was so kind to our bands and so kind to. Uh, his fans too. He's really a, a wonderful human being. Uh, I'm really, I'm really proud to be part of it. I only met Ronnie once, and he kind of like treated me like he knew me all my life, even though I was just a fan, you know. And uh, he just took time, and he he he, he did that to. Ev I think he does that to everybody, but he was such a very caring person. Well, that's a testament to his humanity for sure. I hear you. I appreciate it, Mark. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. We got a whole group here. Steamroller. Yeah, right. Steamroller. Yeah. Steamroller. Yeah. What, so, was the, uh, what was the question? What do you guys got going on this year? Uh, call, we, I got I to gotta shift at the coffee shop later. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, I always wanted to work at um, in an Outburger because I think they're very efficient. They're always very kind. At the same time as how much, how hard work, how much hard work it is. I wanted to see if I could hang. And I also want to be of service. There's, that's a whole big component I wanna, to I mean, it. I like yeah. the service industry. And I want to see if I can hang with them at In-N-Out. All right, so um, Steamroller hasn't played for a, a while. This is like your first gig in what, years. like, how many years? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. You guys, you don't, you, you don't miss a beat. Well, it's eight years, four months. And sometimes I do miss a beat, but Brian covers for me really well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's that's part of the magic. You're fast. The that's the magic of the band is that each of us knows how to cover for the other. But, no, but seriously, dude. I mean, you're, you're like incredible on the drums. You're an amazing guitar player. You got the voice of, of an angel. So, well, when, when very you angry you angel. Very, you very You can see us again, actually. Thank you. You can see us again, actually, at the end of the month uh, at uh, Count Vamped in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. We'll be, uh, we'll yeah. be, yeah, like, like uh, May 27th or 8th. May, I think it's the 27th. 27th. Whatever that Saturday is, we're yeah, doing a full show. Is. The yeah. full show. Full show. Come on out. Be there. Be square. Or a circle or a triangle, whatever you want to be, but just try to be there. 
Excellent. It's cool, right? I mean, no, I mean, I, I, I like, I, I went through it, like all the different groups you guys have been with and everything. I mean, you're not a, a starting out band. You guys are like uh, the real deal. And for a three-piece band to have that large of a sound, that's the thing. Be because we, there's only three of us, we can do a little more to make it bigger. Like, you don't go play less because there's only three guys. That's you gotta play thing. more. We get to overplay, which we all love to do. And yeah. you make more money, right? And we make more money. <laughs> well, and we tend to agree on everything because there's only three of us. There's not that fourth guy going, well, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but we're we're actually we're all we've all been friends for a long time. We've played many hours together. We've done a lot of road time together. So we have a history in all seriousness, but we do. We have a history that uh, you can't really buy it. It's it you got to earn it. And uh, I think we've earned it because we're a little further down the road now, and we've all played in our respective bands and different bands. But now we're circling back around to playing together again, and it feels great. It really does. I I'm loving it. I, I love playing with these guys, truly. So. How did you get hooked up with the, with the Dio group? What's that? How did you get hooked up with Dio? Uh, I'm just a big fan of Ronnie James Dio, and so I probably willed it out into the universe that I wanted something to do with Ronnie James Dio, because he's one of my favorite singers of all time. Yeah. yeah. And and then and Douglas played with Dio, and then when I joined White Snake and met Doug, we talked for a while, and Doug said, you know something, man? Ronnie would like you, man. And I took that as a huge compliment. He didn't really know at the time that I was such a Ronnie James Dio fan, but I was, and so. Yeah. That's about as close as I ever got to Ronnie James Dio is Doug Aldrich. <laughs> what is it, like uh, one degree of separation? Kind of separation. <laughs> there was a time, and Ronnie, Ronnie, he, 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 I mean, especially, if he, Ronnie loved everybody, but he definitely would have really, him and Michael would have been kindred spirits, I think. East Coasters, I guess. Yeah. And Italians, so yeah, yeah. God bless that kid, man. Yeah, man. We're all we're all here uh, for, for him, really, because it, it, you know the spirit of Ronnie James Dio lives on. I don't say that you know facetiously. I mean it. Like that dude is gonna his music's gonna reverberate, you know, out into time and space uh, for as long as we're around to hear rock music. That's for sure. And they sold out the event today because it's all for Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I love any of the, 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 the bowling events they do, this stuff, anything, you know, we went, we went and saw the, the premiere last year. I, I just like having a little something to do with, with you know, the, a little tie in Ronnie because I just grew up as such a big fan. Never played with him. Met him one time when uh, uh, Ronnie and uh, Billy Idol, we did a festival in Finland together and, and uh, I got a picture with him, which is great. But just to be able to do stuff, you know, because the, 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 everybody behind all these events are great. Everybody at the office, you know, Wendy and, and Mary and everybody. So it's just always a lot of fun. So it was just great. It was a win-win. We got to come down and just have fun throwing down a steamroller and, you know, be here under, you know, the support and supporting the cause, the causes that are going on today and, and the mighty Ronnie James Dio. So you guys out there, if you get a chance to check out Steamroller, they're the real deal. This is a super group here, everybody. I mean, this is, this is, uh, if, if they come through your town, definitely go to see Steamroller. Anything else Thanks, you want to Greg. say? Thanks, Greg. Appreciate you, man. Yes. Yeah. One thing, um, lot of, there's a lot of super groups out there. You know, there are, and. He doesn't want people to know he's doing an interview. Back to the interview. Um, what was I saying, Michael? There's a lot of super groups. Oh, there's a lot of super groups, but we, we, uh, we're actually a soup group. So once a week we get together and we have try out different types of soup, we review them, we have a... <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. All right. All right. But you... Steamroller. Uh, right. Last, week, last week we had a delicious tomato bisque. <laughs> this week we're going to go for some butternut squash. So. Oh, yeah.